what's up? So, I used to write a blog. <laughs> I haven't written one in a while. I'm sitting on my phone. And, um, I don't know why I have other stuff to do before I was writing a blog. I didn't have a lot of things to do. Huh. So, <clears throat> I, um, want to read one of my blogs because I haven't gone and looked at them in a while. And I like this blog. But it only has like 255 views and I was like, I get more views on average on my videos and I think it's a really good one so I thought I would read it so I'm just going to read it to you. And yeah, enjoy. The title of it is, <coughs> excuse me, You, Your Teenager, and Their Sex Life. <coughs> so I was browsing hub pages, qu hub page question section. <laughs> So I was browsing Hub Pages questions section, which I really love to do. Wow, this was a long time ago. I haven't been on Hub Pages in a long time. When one really kept my attention. I already answered the question along with many other people to the best of my ability, but I keep thinking about it, so I thought, why not write an article about it? The question was along the lines of a mom asking if she could punish her 17-year-old daughter for having sex with her long-term boyfriend. I'm not going to answer this question specifically here because I've already done that but I'm going to make a general guideline about what I think you should do when it comes to your teens and their sex lives. I will reference my own personal experience with this topic to give you a better understanding of why it stuck with me so much. I was always told that sex was out of the question when I was growing up, not until I was married anyway. And that was literally all my mom ever said about it, until I was older basically and basically said, hey mom, this has happened and this is happening and you don't have control of it. My sister was told the same thing also, and now we have my beautiful baby niece, Faith. Now my sister was the same age I am now, 21, I'm almost 22 now, but same age I am now, 21, when she got pregnant, and no, it was not anyone's fault or anything like that, I, I certainly don't blame my mom. I've gotten along fine learning for myself, but I just can't help to wonder how things would have been better if I didn't feel like my mom would disown me if she knew who I really was. Where did all my mom's overbearing parenting style get us? <clears throat> While I moved out, not exactly on the best terms. There's a lot more that goes with the, all that. I moved back, obviously, and we're fine. And we talk about sex all the time. <laughs> but anyway, we didn't used to. Side note. But we had a rocky period of time because I was just too afraid to tell my parents anything, which now I tell them more stuff. <clears throat> now I'm just going to be blatant and say that... Say that a lot of this will have a religious conflict. If you are religious and your main issue with your child having sex... I just realized that my shirt's low. Huh. Your child having sex is what you want them... is that you want them to wait till marriage, you better get a grip. Teenagers are going to have sex no matter what you teach them. Continue on this point by diverting away from the religious topic. Yes, there is no way for you to stop your teenager from having sex if they want to. Even if you put all the restrictions on them in the world, watch them like a hawk, and you're just sure you know your precious little angel would never be caught dead doing the nasty. Would you stop having sex because your mom didn't approve? Do you really think that before a teenager is about to have sex, they're even considering what their mom or dad has told them? Guess what? There are a million places teenagers have sex. Oh, you thought it was okay to let them go to an after-school function? Oh, you thought since it was a walk-a-thon for cancer, there's no reason for them not to go. Well, turns out, because you never gave them the chance to be alone or understand why it's gross, they're now having sex in a porta potty next to the football field. This is not a fake story. That really happened. This is one of the million stories about people having sex wherever they can. That same person had sex in that porta potty during, during school hours, so now you're going to homeschool your kid? On top of that, what about protection? Are you relying on the schools to tell them about that also? The schools wait way too long, if they even do it at all, to give out any kind of sexual education seminars. Usually that is, the only, that is only one time ever. So if you don't tell them, or they don't take the time on their own to research it, usually when they're thinking they may need to buy a pregnancy test, the only information they know is what they've been told in the one seminar and what everyone else has told them. You would not believe the crap that spreads around the school about sex. I had friends using plastic wrap because they didn't have condoms they were, and were too afraid the parents would find them. Well, you may not know this, and they didn't either, obviously, but plastic wrap has holes in it. You might as well have done, might as well have not used anything. So getting to my point, I'm not getting, telling you to constantly sit down and lecture your teens about the practice of sex. They don't want that either. 
just don't make sex a negative thing. That's all there is to it. If you treat it like a natural act that everyone does, your worries will be cut in half. What would you rather do? Keep your kid under lock and key, but they are still having sex, but you just don't know where, with who, and if they are being safe. Now your child is isolated and is afraid to ask you for help if they need to need it for fear of punishment. Or you could let it be okay and educate them and know you're not going to have that horrible conversation later. Later, Mom, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and you, I put I'm P-R-E-G, but it just sounds silly to say. <laughs> and you now have a healthy, happy relationship with your kid. Honesty and communication is what important is what is important in any relationship. Why would it be different for your kids? No, I don't mean communicate like you print out a list of talking points on how to talk to your kid about sex. I mean sit down and talk to them like they're a person. Tell them what you're worried about and what you're thinking. Unedited and not thought out. The only time I ever really listened to my parents was when they talked to me like they were real people, people who mess up just like everyone else and take it easy on you because you just want what they want for them to be happy, right? Oh, yeah, that's it. That's my blog. I like that one. It's very true. Let's see if I have anything to add. That's it. I guess talk to your goddamn kids, man. Peace.